He can't make anyone in the Forza community happy. We're all fucking idiots. Forza Horizon 5. Forza Horizon 5. I like to play Forza Horizon 5. I like to play the Forza 5. I like to play the Forza 5. I think, am I having a stroke on camera right now? Beep. What's going on? I haven't done a video where I just talked to you guys in, in a while. I'm too busy watching dumb videos and screaming my head off about scary shit. <laughs> don't ask why I love doing that. I don't know, I just do. But I thought of an interesting video today and I thought it would be cool to talk about why exactly it is that um, I basically only play Forza for the most part and why that is exactly. Now, I love playing other games or so I thought I used to anyway. Until I started playing Forza and realizing that, man, the uh, physics in this game are so superior to any other racing game I played for controller that it essentially makes every other game not fun to play. At least after a very short amount of time, for me anyway, personally. I'll, pl I'll try to play The Crew 2 and even though the open world is awesome, and the map is huge and you know there's all kinds of cool cars and the boost is kind of fun it's a nice switch up um overall just the physics are not satisfying enough they still the cars still feel a little bit floaty i don't have enough feedback in the controller i, I have my vibration all the way up in forza and, or in every game that i play i turn my my volume or my vibrate all the way up because i really like that feedback i like to feel when i'm braking when i'm sliding when i'm not gripping all that stuff and Forza does that just better than every other game and by a large margin too. I mean, to the point where I, I really can't play other, other games for very long at all. I ultimately always switch back to Forza or I don't play the other game for very long. I just, I just can't, I can't get past how I don't have enough feedback in the controllers. Um, especially for older games, in the, in the 360 games. Uh, as much as I love to do the older, the older game plays and the nostalgia is there, the um, the satisfying the driving is just not nearly as satisfying at all uh, on older 360 games especially like I, like I just said the the vibration is just not very strong on very on really any game for it for me anyways especially you know now you know that I've been playing on the newer consoles for so long but um, yeah so the reason <clears throat> I'm just kind of blabbering now but the reason like I, that I specifically only play Forza games um, and Forza Horizon games more specifically is the open world combination, the open world in combination with the physics is just unmatched, man. It makes it so all the bullshit that's annoying with the game is still like worth dealing with. As much as I'll bitch and moan and you know a lot of players will that love this game and, and love the, pla the past games and that's why you, you get pissed is because you love the games. Um, but that's that's why we always come back man and that's why the the core you know the core audience still will, will kind of always come back i think is because there really is no other game that offers the same the same drive experience even if you don't like even if you don't like to have vibration on the the physics are still like intuitive you know what i mean like there's the, the cars just it's dialed in man the driving is dialed in when you when you tune a car you can you can just really feel it the get it the way you want it to feel you know i you try to play games like heat that has like a little bit of tunability and just doesn't seem like no matter what you do really makes much of a difference you know what i mean and um you know the same you know goes for well the crew too it does make a, it does make a pretty good difference but it's still a much different it's a still a much different kind of tuning than it is with forza so I mean, in a nutshell, really, it's just that Forza has such superior physics that it kind of just, it just kind of shits all over every other game, man. Other games that are that are pretty good um, that I that I would play after Forza Horizon um, typically are Project Cars 3, even though I know that's a pretty unpopular game, uh, mostly because it's you know it was made for wheel and now it, it, the third installment was controller friendly. Um, and let's see what else dirt 5 actually had dirt 5 actually had some pretty good physics um, But the game itself is just kind of falls flat overall not not very fun um, The crew too. open world is amazing. The map is huge uh, But the physics are just they don't do it for me. They just they don't do it for me um, I don't really like I just don't really like the way the 
for a car person, I feel like it's it's not made for somebody who's a car guy. I feel like it's made for somebody who is more of a gamer overall. Whereas Forza is kind of more of a, for me, it feels like more of a car game. I don't know. Um, and then let's say Need for Speed Heat. No, ter not even just terrible. Oh, the way the cars turn, especially in tighter corners, it's just so. It's just like, oh my God, turn, turn, turn. Why are you not turning? Oh my God, please turn. Uh, I haven't played Unbound yet, but I'm hoping that it's, um, you know, it's going to be fun. I've already heard a lot of it's more of the same with some new flair on the visuals, really. Uh, it, the, it sounds like the physics are going to be the same old kind of floaty, disconnected, not very satisfying to drive kind of thing. I don't know. For me, anyway, that's needs, Need for Speed really stopped being fun after Most Wanted, and I know that's really sad, but... Um, it's it's really true. Payback is is probably my second favorite after that. I don't, don't ask why. I just really thought that that game was was really dialed in, uh, except for the cars. Actually, you know what? No, the cards were terrible. The card up uh, no, the card upgrading system was garbage. I hated that. Oh, that was so bad. Anyways, yeah, I don't know. I'm just rambling. I'm, I've been rambling. I, the last few minutes probably weren't even necessary at all. But yeah, so really, I just I don't know. I just wanted to talk about fours. I think that I really like. Um, the, the fact that the game just has such good physics is basically why I play it, it, it and, and ex exclusively. I have yet to find a game that really compares to the experience, and even though the game is uh, kind of bland overall as far as, you know, I don't know, visually anyway, the game is has stunning graphics, but um, the map itself just is not a lot going on. It's very empty, it's very boring, but the drive is satisfying the car selection is satisfying the sounds are amazing uh the overall the ease of just hopping in and just being in an open world driving around it's just i don't know it's 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 that's the experience i look for when i when i when i want to play and that's why i still play for it no matter how much i bitch no matter how much i'll read people's things on on like the forza community when they're bitching about it, like yeah 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 nah, right yeah oh, bro, fuck this game ah, fuck this game and then I'll go right over and turn it on, and there I am playing it again. <laughs> you can't make anyone in the Forza community happy. We're all fucking idiots. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. If you had, if you enjoyed it, you know, throw me a like. Maybe throw me a comment. Even subscribe if, if you like the vibe. I don't know. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day.